So hey folks, I got another another little video for you today, and uh, this one comes from uh, Browery has sent me one of these solar generators. Now you guys know how I talk about solar solar generators. I'm I'm not too crazy about them. Well, these guys sent me one, and actually I'm a little bit excited about this one because this is a complete unit. It has solar panels. It has a battery. It has everything. So we're just, we're gonna just be doing an unboxing today. You guys are gonna want to stay tuned for the uh, for the upcoming video of of a kind of a progress report the, my neighbor's going to be borrowing this and he had just moved into the area and he's going to be uh he's going to be needing this thing so we're going to be using this real time real world scenario so and and no scripts or no nothing maybe we could zoom in on this i just kind of wanted to go over this real quick you know the capacity of this we have a lipo battery in this which you know we were just discussing is actually a really good thing um this thing has 614 watt hours, okay? And to me, that sounds like it's pretty good. And this, this charges in, in, by DC, uh, 24 volt, uh, not sure, maybe a solar panel, and then uh, an additional solar panel. And then you could ch charge it with your car, you know, with your, with your car, and it also has a 30 watt panel. And I think you can also um, charge this with an AC cord, so, but we're gonna find out. But it's got 600 watt continuous and 1200 watt intermittently. So with the 614 watt hours, you're gonna get, if you're using the, six, the full 600 watts, technically you're supposed to get one full hour of usage out of that, so. But my neighbor that's uh, kind of remaining anonymous at, the, at this point in time is, is gonna let us know just exactly how much use that he gets out of that, so. All right, so looks like we've got a, let's open this up real quick and see what we got. So we've got some cords, looks like, and uh, nice little package. And I gotta say, my, my impression right off the bat is, uh, oh, look at this, all these different adapters. Oh, that's nice. My impression, just right off the bat, just looking at just the charger alone, seems to have some pretty decent quality. Now this, um, this looks like something that we'd use to charge it with. Maybe plug that into your car and then plug this into the unit itself. Um, but uh, and then we've got some we've got some uh, directions. Let's see if these are any good. A lot of times you get these Chinese products and the directions are actually pretty horrible. But you know what? These aren't bad. Look at that. These are actually very well done. I've got a really good impression about this. I do. I do. Well, let's get this thing out of the box, and uh, well, I think we're going to have to cut the box. <laughs> so, our folks at Browery has given me a, an affiliate link that uh, you guys can find in the description uh, to be able to purchase one of these if you're so interested in doing so. Let's take a look at this unit. This to me almost looks like the little generator that we just got through working on right there. We had a little Westinghouse that we just got through putting another pull cord on. And this is not that much smaller. It, uh, some of these units can actually be kind of big. Big and clunky. But this is actually really compact. All right, let's just take a look at that for a second. We've got, um, this is a car outlet. So this is a 12 volt out plug, it looks like. This is pure sine wave, it says, 600 watts. So there's your 110 plug. You have AC, DC, and a display. And uh, we're gonna try and turn this baby on in a minute. And what's on the other side here? Let me get this out of the way. Okay, not much in the way of just real basic Real basic. So let's go ahead and there's our solar panel. Wow, that really looks nice. I wonder, this has to be a fairly high efficiency panel. You know, again, this is only 30 watts, but it's not taking up any space at all. I mean, right now we're already charging this thing as we speak, which is really cool. All right, so you know, one of the things that immediately popped in my mind when I saw this was was the ability to charge batteries on the job site because uh, recently we've been doing a lot of off-grid building and we sort of run out of batteries by the end of the day. So 
this sort of came in a very timely manner. Now we got some really bright sun. So let's uh, let's see if we can turn this baby on and see what we got. Okay, it already says it's charging. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, the display says it's at 60% and charging as we speak. So that's kind of cool. It just turned itself on immediately as soon as it sensed that sunlight. Here's a couple USBs. There's an 18 watt. This is a USB-C out. So all of the popular, all of the popular uh, charging ports. So, all right, let's see if we can plug this battery charger in. And now I know from experience we had um, hooked this up to a uh, to a solar inverter the other day, and this thing draws almost exactly 100 watts. Um, and that's what it says. It says it's 0.7 amps. So actually probably about 80 watts. Some of you guys that do math out there maybe can help out with that. All right. I don't know if I'm supposed to hit the power button or what here. Yeah, it's working. So this is actually charging. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's kind of bright out here, but we got flashing light. So that means we're charging a battery. So we're drawing about 80 watts off of this thing currently. And again, it's only got the one plug, so maybe a power strip of three. We could probably plug three or four of these in rather easily, I would imagine. In fact, um, let's get a let's get a power strip and plug some more battery chargers and see what this baby can do. All right, we got a mess of cords here, but got my power strip. We got three additional plug-ins. Let's see if we can. This is actually for my Ego charger, so. This is going to draw 210 amps. Remember, this is rated for 600 amps, so we're going to give this thing a shot. So, and I got the big battery, so I'm sure it's going to really suck the juice. Let's see if that turns on. And it's on, so I'm going to see if that's got a... It's really hard to see in this bright sunlight, but let's see if I can see a, a, a watt rating on there. Yeah, I, I can't see. There is a watt deal there, but it's maybe I um, just need to fool with the buttons a little bit. So then we add our other charger. This thing draws 0.7 amps at 120 volts. So you guys can do the math on that. So let's plug that one in. And it's charging. And then I'm going to get an additional battery charger here. So now we've got three batteries charging. And I would say we're... 350 watts right now so honestly i wouldn't have a whole lot more than this plugged in on the job site if this thing could keep up with us for a day um which we're going to test it and we're going to we're going to let you guys know um and and my friend that's going to be using it he's going to be charging his laptops his cell phones and just kind of things like that of that nature so and it's super critical that he has that because his wife has a job that really depends on it so browery we're depending on you now <laughs> so we're going to see if this if you guys pull this through for us all right so we're just going to plug this baby in and see if this thing will charge and uh how bad is the lighting in here it's probably terrible so we're technically still charging with solar because this is just going off my solar array but this will this should work in anybody's house let me see here turn this baby around and the input is right here let's give it a shot let's see what happens and it's charging so i don't know if this is going to charge it faster i'm sure it's going to charge it faster than the solar uh what does that say 114 watts is going in right now so as opposed to 30 watts so i guess that is faster and then we're going to try it on the truck here in a minute yeah that's pretty cool all right, here we are in the car, and we got this car charger, so we're going to plug this baby in next, and we're going to see what kind of charging we have here. <clears throat> and you know something I noticed was this little, um, well, now it's going to make me a liar. It says out AC, but when I plugged in the AC from the, uh, from the house current, it actually, uh, it actually gave me the waters that was going in it. So um, where are we at here, right here? So let's see, here's the input. Let's see what happens. So the little meter here, I don't know if you guys can see that. 
it says it's charging 25 watts so okay so that's not bad I mean I guess I don't know so I guess if we had to make a trip to town and back which he's gonna be making lots of trips to town and back because we literally live out in the boonies as you guys know so um, something like this if you didn't have you know regular and he's got a generator too so but he can plug it into the generator he can plug it into the AC and or he can flip out the solar panel so to me that actually that uh, that seems pretty useful to me okay so I'm kind of getting the hang of this thing and I wanted to take it outside and actually look at the wattage going in and we're exactly at 30 watts I, I hit 34 I mean there's 31 there's 32 and we got some pretty bright sunlight I mean it's kind of cloudy there's 33 and so the 30 watt claim on the solar panel I think is they're spot on and actually I know that it's very important to keep your panels clean too so yeah there's 33 so that's uh that's actually pretty cool All right, well, before we wrap this video up, I'd like to thank Browery uh, for sending me this unit. Uh, it's it's a beautiful little unit, um, you know, and uh, I, I think it's perfect for, for what I'm going to be using it for, which is probably the job site, you know, taking it out and actually charging batteries on the job site without having to start the generator up. Very noisy generator. That's the one thing about solar, you know, super quiet, um, you know, passive energy, just charging your stuff, you know, and... Uh, we've been doing a lot of jobs off grid so this is actually you know really perfect and really timely that that they've sent this to me and um you know we're two weeks into having this thing now uh, since i started this video and started this review and so far you know i'm, I'm very very impressed with it uh, you know the build quality is excellent um you know it, the, the the whole construction of it is very simple very basic yet uh yet very useful you know it has three separate ways you can charge this machine and and it can be charged uh, through multiple sources for example if I'm plugging it into my cigarette lighter I can put it in the sunshine as well and it will you know double the charging current that's going into it by doing that and so um, and that that gives me a lot of options as far as you know the ability to be able to recharge you know the batteries I can take it home plug it in with me I could plug it in you know in my vehicle I could just open the solar panels and let it charge like that um, but you know at 30 watts charging you know it will take several days if the battery is fully depleted to completely top it off so um you know bear that in mind but on the job site if we have that thing open and charging it's just going to extend that normal you know that 600 watt hours let's say we're on the job site for 10 hours at 30 you know 30 watts full sunlight you know that's going to give us an additional uh watt hour rating you know like of maybe 300 watt hours so you know we're looking at maybe more like 900 watt hours and I would imagine that's like a nine um, nine fully charged five amp hour um, you know DeWalt batteries you know which you know I have ten batteries now and uh, we generally go if we're working hard and heavy and using the saws a lot we generally go through those those batteries uh, in their entirety so it's nice to have that ability to recharge them and of course it can be plugged in at night and in six hours it's fully recharged by the morning and and ready to go again but uh hey with that folks um you, you know again we're going to put that affiliate link in the uh, uh description below and you guys can you guys can uh, click on that and check the check this nice little thing out and you know this is not meant to run a whole house this is not meant to uh, run your freezer or your refrigerator it's not that type of a solar generator you know it's more of a portable unit you know camping hunting fishing you know in my case i'm going to take it on the job site and use it every single day just like a tool and um and it's being used by some people who are uh very much relying on it to to power up their their computers you know because uh just running on a generator alone uh is very sketchy they they almost ran into a situation where they um um where where, where she was going to run out of power because the, the the pull cord had broken on the generator so um you know this gives a, a great deal of redundancy for folks that are you know like myself and like them who are living off grid and and um and relying on their electronics to kind of you know get through work and stuff like that so but with that thanks for watching guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and and uh, check out browry i think this is a great up and coming company with some great products that uh that need to really be looked at and and um i, I think they're they're very worthwhile all right thanks a lot we'll, we'll talk to you guys soon bye